Welcome to a journey into history, a history of our railways. A once in a lifetime chance to see six of the world's fastest steam locomotives ever built, all at one gathering. The six surviving LNER A4 streamlined engines from a fleet of 35 have been brought together for a unique gathering. Two of them were brought from Canada and the USA, where they have been on display for nearly 50 years. The great gathering of the six A4s are on show in the Great Hall of the Railway Museum at York, and our mission is free. Although with tremendous popularity of this event, it can be seen that much patience is required to gain entry to the museum, which has now had to become a one-out to a one-in situation. The Railway Museum houses many of the locomotives and rolling stock from yesteryear, including luggage platform trucks and famous coaches such as Pullman are on display here. The world's steam speed record was created on July the 3rd, 1938, 75 years ago by Mallard, a London and North Eastern Railway A4 class locomotive. There are many famous locomotives here, from the year 1829 Stevenson's Rocket, to the Evening Star Class 9F, which was the last steam locomotive to be built for British Railways in 1960 at the Swindon's Railway Works. The launch event started on the 3rd of July, when Mallard and its five surviving Classmate A4 locomotives were gathered together around the Great Hall turntable at York. Three of these are operational. Sir Nigel Gresley in BR Blue livery, Union of South Africa in BR Green livery, and Bitten, which has been restored to the 1930s style appearance and livery. The other three are Mallard, Dominion of Canada, and Dwight D. Eisenhower.
The Mallard 75 series is being sponsored by the model makers Hornby and Her Royal Highness the Prince of Wales is patron of Mallard 75, the title of the museum's celebrity season of activities marking the anniversary. Sir Nigel Gresley designed these and other famous LNER locomotives, including the A3 class Flying Scotsman, but he died over 70 years ago and so there are not many people around who knew him. The A4s were built and maintained at Doncaster Locomotive and Carriage Works until being withdrawn around 50 years ago. His A4 fleet was designed to travel faster than most other trains, routinely up to 100 miles an hour, and pulled the Silver Jubilee, the UK's first streamlined train in September 1935, which linked London and Newcastle. At this time, the race for the fastest and most luxurious train was being run between the big four railway companies, and any excuse to grab the headlines was taken. How long until the high-tech trains of today become themselves the trains of history? Surely the great locomotive designers such as Nigel Gresley could not have imagined how their creations would end up in museums in the golden years of steam. But the railways are facing changes again with the new high-speed railway system HS2 in the planning, with train speeds expected of 225 miles per hour. So only the future can tell.